Hi everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to use a really modern logo technique called text destruction using Photopea. So I've done it a few times here, I'm going to just talk you through some of them. So in this one I've used some square rectangles in the same colour as the background to remove parts of the text there, some parts of the letter in. I've used a line tool to stick a line right through the middle of that one. I've used the line tool again on that one. Um, I've used the eraser tool on that one to rub out some of the letters and we'll, we'll need to rasterize the layer first to do that. And I've used the eraser tool again to remove little bits of the black of the letters. Again, you'll need to rasterize the letters to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do all of those. So I'm just going to do file new. I'm going to, take, um, I'm going to try and make it as big as I can because when I resize some of the logos that I make using which have been rasterized, it's really important that you, you've made them quite big to begin with, otherwise you'll see them to start to, to store and pixelate. So down the left hand side is the text tool. I'm just going to drag it on. Make sure that it's pretty big. I've set mine to 600. I've also chosen Helvetica. I've installed that on Photopea. Um, it's really easy to do. I'll show you how to do it in another video. Or you can just use any font of your choice from the list. And I'm going to write a random word. Now, if you like me and you can't think of random words, if you type in random word generator into Google, there's a really cool little um, web page that will randomly create some words for you. So, fix. So, I'm going to make a logo with the word fix. So, type it in. Actually, I think the word fix might look better capitalised. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I'm going to make that a bit bigger because the word is only a short word, so maybe 800 size, and use my pointer tool to position it more in the middle. I'm going to use my magnifier to just zoom in a little bit. Right, now on this one, I'm going to use the line tool. So down the left-hand side, you're going to look for the rectangle, and in there you've got rectangles, circles, and lines. So I've selected the line. I'm going to make sure that the line is the same colour as the background and I'm going to make the width of the line quite big. So I'm going to choose maybe 30, press enter, and then I'm going to go right across the middle to cover up that middle. And it and it kind of covers up a little bit of the F. I want it to cover up most of that line across the F, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to make it at least 100 width up there, press enter. Let's see if that's any better. Yep, that is. So I'm going to make it as straight as I can. Use my pointer tool to move it up and position it so that it's nice in the middle of that X. The click on the background so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Right, I'm going to go to the crop tool and crop it. Right, first one done. File, new, create. I'm going to create a new random word. Effect, go back to this text down the side there, write it, then drag it on, effect, oh I've still got the caps locked on, effect, might go to the capital E, oh that looks much better, okay, pointer tool, let's get it in the middle and zoom in using my magnifier, right on this one I'm going to use, go back into that tool down there but this time I'm going to use some rectangles, Again, you've got to make sure that the rectangle or the circle or the line is in the same colour as the background. So click in the fill. And then I'm going to start putting on some rectangles to distort and destroy. So it's called destructive text. Destroy some elements of the word. Click on that. Again, that looks pretty cool. Very, very simple techniques to create a memorable, modern looking logo. Just cropped it there. All right, next one. Now in these next ones, I'm going to show you how to rasterize the text first. So let's have a look in the random word generator. Hide, that's a pretty cool word. See, I wouldn't be able to think of these words on the own. You've got to use these tools, guys. These tools that are out there for you. Right, hide. I think hide might look good capitalized. So I'm going to capitalize that. Okay, right, I'm going to zoom in. It's always important to zoom in so that you can see what you're doing properly. Right, I'm going to click on the text. I'm going to go to Layer, Rasterize. I can now rub out parts of this text. It's now no longer text. You won't be able to edit it like text. You won't be able to double click it, change the size and the color of it. So you need to do all of those things before you rasterize. So that's really important to know. But the final technique is to use the eraser tool, which is 
if I can remember, oh, there it is there, a razor tool. Up here, you can change the size, hardness, and the effect of the razor tool. So I found that using number seven, making it just a bit bigger, or oh, bigger still, much bigger still. And then if you just click on the text, you can create a, a really cool pattern. It looks almost like concrete, which again is quite modern. So you're combining two modern effects here in one to create a really cool um, logo. Okay, right. I'm going to go back in time because I just want to show you another technique using the same word. So remember, I have rasterized this text. It's the only way I'm going to be able to do this next one. And that is using the eraser tool again. But instead of choosing um, that, I'm going to use the actual circle, make it a bit bigger, maybe a bit bigger still. This is how you can use it. You can delete chunks of a letter. Um, how about that? Oh, that looks pretty good. Uh, do you know what? That looks alright. Just left. Don't you, you? You can tinker too much, you know. You can. Don't tinker too much. Keep it nice and simple. I reckon that'll do. Go to the crop. Crop it down and save it. Save it as a JPEG. Right, that's it, guys. That's all you need to do. File, export as a JPEG, and you're done. Have fun!